thing about Dhoni's captaincy, I think uh, he's extremely calm, he's positive, he reads the game well, and he he tries to be a step ahead of the opposition. I mean, uh, he's done a fantastic job there. So uh, I've I've uh, enjoyed playing cricket with him and playing under him. Uh, I'd like to wish uh, Mahi all the very best. EMS has got this fantastic personality of remaining calm remaining calm under any situation. You know, a lot of people have asked me that you've played with him. How does he remain so calm? I said he doesn't show it. You know, from inside he's different, from outside he's different. And that's a great quality of a captain. You know, it, it's, a, it's a thing which keeps going around in the dressing room and the players. And I think he's been a great servant of the game. I think he gets a lot of respect. Uh, we only look at the criticism, but I think the amount of respect he gets in India is unbelievable. In Mahindra Singh Dhoni, you've got arguably one of the greatest captains this country is producing. Kota in the annals of Indian cricket as one of our greatest cricketers. If you just look at the contribution as a captain, you know, the number of wins he has, the way he's conducted himself, and some of the results that he's produced uh, during his tenure as captain, it's, it's mind-boggling stuff. You know, it just goes to show that, you know, when there's self-belief, you know, you can achieve anything you want. And this is what I saw with MS, you know, he was quiet, he was hungry and you knew that uh, you know, here was a man of steel who, if given the opportunity, will take India you know, places and he's done exactly that. That is the beauty about Mahindra Singh Dhoni's captaincy is the fact that he has got this fantastic uh, gut instinct. He acts on it and more often than not, it works for him and for his team. He's one of the best captain we have and we should respect that. And uh, when you ask question, you have a doubt in your mind. I have no doubt. So I don't even talk about him. He's the best captain. He you know, his, his cricket ability, his understanding of the game, understanding of situations is priceless. To have this burden off his shoulders, I think he's, he's going to enjoy the best phase of his career, you know, as a batsman is concerned. Um, and he'll be able to enjoy his cricket far more than he's ever done before without the burden of, you know, uh, being at, uh, under the scanner all the time. So I'm really, really happy for him, as I said. Um, and at the same time, I feel grateful and lucky that he's still around to give me advice. I think uh, the biggest change is that uh, he's remained himself and uh, anything anything uh, that resonates with a, a great leader is the fact that uh, you can learn and draw a lot of, uh, draw a lot of good, uh, good uh, habits to practice. And uh, he's someone who's led by example. He's remained himself, he's remained calm, he's stayed himself, he's never exuded what needs to be exuded and given enough liberty. I think whatever he has done over the years, you can't disrespect him. What he has achieved, so 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 many trophies for the BCCI. At the same time, he's a good human being, good honest man. But one series can't make him bad. He's a, he's a good man, he's a good leader. Everyone loves him around the dressing room. So still, I think uh, still a lot of cricket left for him. He has showed a lot of character, discipline, honesty around the players and around the management. So still wait for some time, you're going to see so much winning for Team India. MS Dhoni uh, is a still the best leader. This is my first game under Smith, but uh, he's, he's learning from MS Dhoni as well. I mean, I was, I was actually watching them that he was taking advices uh, from MS Dhoni. So yes, I mean, he, he would like to take uh, more advices from MS Dhoni in coming games. And we, we know if he's, if he's there for long enough, he's an extremely dangerous player. And we've seen throughout his whole career, he's, he's gone India over the line on numerous occasions and he, he finds the, the boundary at the right point. And for him to hit a six off the last, the first ball, second ball of the last over, um, the first ball after it being a wide, um, you know, that really got the team home, I guess. Well, I've seen MS as a great calmness. Uh, there's certainly never any signs of panic that I've seen. So, uh, and, and I guess if you expose yourself uh, on the international stage enough times, at some stage there's going to be times where you, you don't quite fulfil what the fans expect and so on, and that opens itself up for criticism. And maybe that calmness has led to some criticism that there, there are times when he doesn't react quickly enough or doesn't change things uh, appropriately, be it in test cricket. But uh, certainly um, across the board, I think he's been a wonderful leader and uh, he's held a team together. I think for being a good captain, there are two important qualities according to me. You have to be a good strategist, tactically you have to be very good, which Dhoni is. And that comes uh, naturally for him because he's a good reader of the game. Even when he was not the captain, 
the way is to analyze uh, the situations the team were in he understood the strengths and the weakness of uh, uh, the players he was playing with especially the bowlers uh, so i think tactically is is very good second is is man management skills i think that is very good because uh, as a captain you want to be consistent you know and i've, I've rated uh, dhoni as probably the best captain because of that consistency in the way he communicates uh, to the players irrespective of the loss or a win he's been very balanced very e equanimous mm -hmm. uh, and that makes him very special so for me being honest in life is very important hard work that you have to put you know irrespective of what your profession is the hard work the honesty respecting the elders which i feel is the key you know if you don't respect the elders be it your parents or be it anyone you know it becomes uh, that's what life is all about go through the difficult periods fight it out but if you can do it with a smile you know that you'll become part of maybe the 5% person, persons you know who can actually do it because at times we crave about life about the tough period but what's important is to go through the tough period that actually make you a better human being